I wanted to ask you about your, your parents because uh, I find them such a, a marvelous, colorful com uh, a couple. Yeah, well, as we, we sit here in this hotel, my grandfather, my mother's father, drove the stagecoach that came right down this mountain, Fish Ranch Road, from Concord into Oakland and uh, had a livery stable in Concord. And so uh, I feel so related when I stay in this hotel to my uh, grandparents on both sides. And that's how they met, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my dad, when he came from Amity, brought uh, the stock, the horses and the cattle, in, in trains, cattle cars. And he, he needed some hands to help him bring the cattle to the ranch at the foot of Mount Diablo in the Nasher Valley. And so he went to my grandfather Ivy's livery stable to hire, see if he could hire hands to help him with the cattle. And then the grandfather went home that night and said, I met a real little young man at the corrals today. And my mother was there. And uh, then they invited my dad to come to dinner, maybe the next night or so. And uh, that's how my mother and dad met each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they later were going to get married, he uh, had to give permission to the daughter, my mother, and he said, if you marry him, Bessie, you'll never want for a sack of flour. <laughs> and that's a pretty good recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a wonderful story. Well, I find it so interesting that she, when you were small children, or at least she had some of her children already, and I believe that you were in first grade, something like that, that she went off and studied with Myra Hess, is that is that a fact? Oh, for sure. And Tobias Mate, who yes. was probably even more famous at the time than Myra Hess as a teacher. So uh, that was a big event in my life, uh -huh. to see her leave. And Wouldn't that have been unusual? In, Very. In that time? Everything oh, yes. she did was unusual. She was. She uh -huh. got the high school to be built by going to all the ranches in a horse and buggy and getting farmers and uh, different orchard men to sign a petition to build a high school, which is Mount Diablo High School in Concord, and she was in the first graduating class. So she she saw her, she had to create her own high school, practically. Well, did he mind that you all went into to music? Well, he was counting on me to save the situation. And uh, it, it was a bit of a disappointment that I didn't. I guess you did through, I mean, you started in veterinary medicine, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that was helping out. the way it was supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And then I switched over by request of Dr. Arnold, yeah. who is still Professor Emeritus at uh, just uh, Santa Rosa 
Oh, at the really? End of the I think so. That was the last we heard. Oh, about that's him. interesting. He because he was a real mentor to you. Well, he got me out of. He said, Brubeck, move over to the conservatory. Your mind is not here in zoology. Just go over there next year. He said, you're always listening to what's going on across the lawn. <laughs> well, you, uh, did, did you study your Czerny? Did your, did your mother uh, raise you in the classical way? At, at first, yeah. That's about as far as I got. <laughs> yeah, you didn't read. Did you not want to read, or, uh, or did you just have such a good ear? I don't know what, what combination caused that. Bad eyes. Uh, Bad eyes and good ears. Good ears, maybe. Yeah. Aren't you glad you didn't? <laughs> would well, have been a different uh, life. Yeah, it would have been a different life. 